Rachot Perek Zayin, Mishnah Gimel. Mishnah Gimel. We will continue learning in uh, the prayer for Rafua Shlema, for a full recovery of Harab Daniel ben Miriam Chaya Rut. Says the Mishnah. And it's a very interesting Mishnah, most of which is we don't, we don't uh, apply Allah Chalamaisa, but nonetheless, it's very fascinating the, the notion of uh, what the Mishnah is trying to convey in any case. Kate said Mizamnin, how do you make a Zimun? Okay, so we all know you make a Zimun. Let's just look for a second. First of all, if you've never seen this before, this is uh, ebirkon.com. There's like a zillion websites that you can just pull up and it'll ask you what your nusach is and give you benching. It's good to know. So the way we do it is, okay, the first person says, and everyone answers, and then says, and the honor in the, with the permission of Maranon, my friends, Maranon, all you guys, and all the rabbis, and my acquaintances, Nevarech she'achalnu mishalom. And if there's time, you say, Nevarech elokeinu she'achalnu mishalom. Okay, let's bless God. So why the difference between ten and one? So that's the topic of our Mishnah. Says the Mishnah, Bishlosha amar nevarech. So this is exactly what we're talking about here. Say, Nevarech she'achalnu mishalom. Let us bless. One person saying, Shoot, Nevarech. Let us bless she'achalnu mishalom. And they answer, Rosh she'achalnu mishalom, etc., etc. But Bishlosha vehu, if it was three and him, Omer Baruchu. Okay, he doesn't say Nevarech she'achalnu mishalom. Rather, he says Baruchu, meaning, okay, instead of Nevarech, let's you say, if it's four people, you say, Rishud Baranan 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 Baruchu she'achalnu mishalom. You shall bless. That's the opinion of the Tanakhama. Basara Omer Nevarech le'elokeinu. If it's ten people, then you say, you say to, if there's you and nine, you say, Nevarech le'elokeinu she'achalnu mishalom. Basarabahu, if it's eleven people or more, you say, Baruchu elokeinu she'achalnu mishalom. And then according to this opinion, you say, Echad asara ve'echad esar ribo. It doesn't matter if it's ten or esar ribo, ten, ten thousand, so a hundred thousand people sitting there. Okay? That's the opinion of the first position. We're going to see in the next opinion is, okay, this is Rabbi Yossi Aglili. If it's ten and him, you say, Baruchu la'ashem elokeinu she'achalim mishalom. Be'elef, if there's a thousand people, you say, Nebarech la'ashem elokeinu elokei Yisrael she'achalim mishalom. If it's be'elef v'hu, if it's a thousand plus him, you say, Baruch la'ashem elokeinu elokei Yisrael. Be'ribo, if there's ten thousand people, Omer, Nebarech la'ashem elokeinu she'achalim mishalom. Be'ribo, if there's ten thousand people, Omer, Nevarech l'ashem elokein elokei Yisrael elokei tzvakot, the Lord of hosts. Baribo v'hu, Omer, Baruchu l'ashem, Baruchu, Baruchu l'ashem elokein elokei Yisrael elokei tzvakot. I always love this part of the Mishnah because Baribo is 10,000 people. So if it's 10,000 exactly, 10,000 exactly, you say Nevarech l'ashem elokein. If it's 10,000 and one, Baribo v'hu, you say Baruchu l'ashem elokein. You can imagine you're at this crazy Hasidish wedding of the, you know, of the Shlager Gagar Rebbe, and you're like, there's like 10,000 people there, but they don't know. Like, should we say, according to Rabbi Yosef Klili, should we say, Nevarech l'ashem elokeinu, or baruchu l'ashem elokeinu? They start counting. Everybody stay. Don't know if you move, because we've got to find out if it's nevarech or baruchu. I always thought that was very funny, because you'd have to know if it was 10,000 or 10,001 in order to follow this opinion. This And this is the general rule of Rabbi Yosef Klili. The same way he blesses, they answer him. Okay? Baruch Hashem Elokei Yisrael, Elokei Tzvakot, Yoshev Kruvim Al Amazon Shachalnu. Okay? Baruch Elokeinu Shachalnu Mishalom. Baruch Hashem Elokei Yisrael, Elokei Tzvakot, Yoshev Kruvim. So the more flowery the language, the more flowery the 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 Mabarech, right? Just like he says, Nevarech in our benching, Nevarech Elokeinu Shachalnu Mishalom. And then they say Baruch Elokeinu Shachalnu. Shachanu mishalom. Sorry, I had to sneeze over there. Sorry, I paused it briefly. Okay, nevarech elokeinu. So they say baruch elokeinu. So according to Rabbi Yossi, according to this opinion, if they say nevarech l'ashem elokeinu, elokei yisrael, elokei tzvakot, you have to say all of your names. Baruch Hashem elokeinu, elokei yisrael, elokei tzvakot, shachanu mishalom. And this is his opinion. Here's the logic of his opinion. Rabbi Yossi Aglili Omer Lefi Rov Hakahal Hem Nevarchim. The greater the kahal, the larger the kahal. Okay, the greater the bracha. Shneemar. B'makelot baruchu elokim Adonai mim kor Yisrael. B'makelot means in the makelot, in the groups, but in the makelai, in, in the orchestra, we bless God. It uh, reminds me of a very famous idea that my wife used to say in the memory of, of in, the, in the name of Rav Kuperman, Zechar Tzadik Mibracha. Rav Kuperman was the head of Michlalayin Yerushalayim. 
used to say that there's a God has at once a symphony. We pray to God in a symphony. And the larger the symphony, the greater the sound. Everybody knows there's a difference between a four-piece quartet and an eight-piece and, and a full symphony. And the idea is we want to pray to HaKadosh Baruch Hu B'makelot to make our symphony that much larger. And it, this is, goes hand in hand with the idea of Barov Am Hadrat Melech. The more, the merrier. The more people, the Hadrat Melech is more Hidur for HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the way we dive it. So, so too, it wasn't, it's not just in the quantity, but Rabbi Yossi Aguilar says the, the actual quality, the actual davening itself changes. The words change based upon the number of people there. And fascinatingly, we don't follow Rabbi Yossi Aguilar. We follow the next opinion, okay? We only make a difference between, between three and ten. We don't say at all these things. So, but the principle, we do agree with, that there's a fundamental difference between three and between a minion, between a kahal. The question is, do we agree that there's a difference between a minion of 10 or 100 or 1,000? Logic would indicate yes. Halakhically, though, why doesn't benching reflect that? It's a very interesting question. You would think that benching should reflect it. There's a difference between davening with 10 people, davening in my little shtibol, or davening with 100 people or 1,000 people in a huge shul. Obviously, those come with uh, costs. But it comes with benefits as well. Rabbi, I'm Rabbi Kiva. Rabbi Kiva says, no, no, no. When we go to Shul, we don't distinguish between uh, 10 and 100 and 1,000 and 10,000. Mirubim echad mumu'atim. Doesn't matter, echad, whether it's mirubim from mirubeh, many. Ve'echad mumu'atim, or whether it's mi'ut, few. Omer barchu et Hashem. Rabbi Yishmael omer barchu et Hashem amavorach. Rabbi Yishmael says he agrees with Rabbi Akiva that we all don't make a difference between Ten or a hundred or a thousand, but we say Baruch Et Hashem Hamavarach. And we all know we pass him like Rabbi Ishmael. Nonetheless, it's a fascinating question. Why did Rabbi Akiva agree that in benching we do make a distinction between three and ten, but more than that in Shul we don't make in a Shul there's no such thing as three. There's only ten. Once you get to ten, that's a minion. That's a that's a kihilak dosha. Is there no difference? Does Rabbi Akiva think that there's no difference once you have a kahal? Once you have ten, there's no difference fundamentally, ideologically, that 10 and 100 are the same, or he really agrees ideologically, of course 10 and 100 are not the same. But in the liturgy, in the text of the davening, we wouldn't make any differences. It's an interesting question that requires greater study. As always, any questions or comments, rspolter at gmail.com. Have a great day.